Hi guys, welcome to the next video on the chapter Gender, Religion and Caste. In the previous video, we discussed about the various gender discriminations, what the constitution has, different provisions in the constitution and what. Uh, we need to do more to ensure that women's rights are uh, maintained and they are equal opportunities. In this video, we will be discussing about the religion topic. So, like uh, problems with gender discrimination, we also have discrimination on the basis of religion. So, the ideologies differ. We believe, or many people believe that religion as such creates a whole social community. So, people from one particular religion belong to one separate community itself and any outsider, anyone believing in another religion, another God, that cannot be a person from the same community. You will not be part of the same community. So, these are some ideologies that have created differences. So, uh, first we will see that uh, how different religions are also uh, creating human rights problems. So, you will see that communal riots, they create a, a scenario where religious bases are chosen to have riots. So, all the riots between Hindus, Muslims, in other countries we have uh, Christians and Muslims, you have a 9-11 attack. So, all those are based on religious minorities, religious beliefs. So, all this has led to a lot of victimization, victimization of the people from different religions. So, uh, like that as well. Plus, you also see that uh, many women rights activists feel that uh, the families, family laws that are there in various religions, they prohibit women, they ensure that women are dominated by men, so they discriminate against women. So this is something that uh, has been happening for a while and this has led to a lot of problems. So we'll discuss all of that. <clears throat> so uh, as we said earlier that people from same religion belong to a single community. So single religion, single community and anyone from a different religion, they cannot belong to the same social community. So this ensures that uh, people only from the same religion are part of the social structure and they are the ones who will form the laws for that social community. Then anyone from with a different religion will not be an equal citizen. So these are some of the beliefs in uh, core religious practices which have made sure that uh, the political parties in fact have taken advantage of such uh, practices. So what has happened is that the political parties want to dominate and they want to ensure that they uh, make sure every religion fights among each other. So this creates a scenario where the majority seeks majoritarianism government and the minority would seek a separate political unit because they know they cannot have a majority ever and because of this they cannot be the ones making the laws so for to have a political dominance the majority is, will have their own government and the minority seeks another political unit so like in the case of india and pakistan uh, the basis for the division was having a different religion for muslims having a different region for muslims so uh, the belief in the superiority of one's religion over other religion this is the prime basis on which the social structure is decided and this has led to political mobilization you will see that uh, the politicians have special appeal for votes emotions that uh, like in the case of Ram Mandir that was chosen by uh, the RSS wing of the BJP where they had decided that this would be one of the agendas for their uh, upcoming elections so this was also chosen by uh, the political party so they can choose various topics where people's sentiments their religious sentiments are involved and hence this can lead to a very ugly form of communalism the communal rights the violence and it has also led to a lot of massacre as well so the Gujarat riots the Babri Masjid case so all those cases have been communal rights, although it has been reducing in India. Now, the constitution of India guarantees every religion that they will have equal say. No religion is given preference. So you will see that India is a secular state. 
by there are different definitions of secularism where we can decide on that but india has chosen a place where the constitution prohibits discrimination on religion that is the basis of secularism first of all then a special provision is there in the constitution that allows the government the state to intervene in matters of religion in order to ensure equality between religious communities so if there is an inequality between religious communities the center the state governments the governments have the right to intervene to ensure that there is equality then the constitution also provides to all individuals freedom to profess practice and propagate this is under article 25 so you will see that under article 25 of the constitution you have the right to practice profess and propagate your religion so you can choose any religion and you can choose to practice and profess it as well now india does not have any official religion this is the basis for secularism no uh, uh, no official religion of the state so these are some of the uh, constitutional provisions that are there to ensure that uh, any discrimination on the basis of religion is prohibited in the country so this is all about the topic on religion in the next video we will be discussing the caste discriminations thank you so much